Hello, all of you. I have been encountering the questions from all the potential main attempter for 2022 CSC examination. And that is the reason I'm in front of you. If you are looking in for the requirements of the answer writing practices, and if you are looking in for the customized strategy to improve on your score, this video is all for you. When we talk about answer writing practice, the foremost thing that comes up in our mind is why it is so crucial. I have been a very prominent supporter of the fundamentals that you need to be reminding yourselves on the daily basis. In UPSC examination, you are not required to be the master of the subjects. Challenges are thrown to you in norm of the questions, whether it is general studies open to all or the optional that you have selected. As you are interested in it, you see the compatibility to it. Geography is no exception. Geography is everything and everything is geography. It's precisely so many times stated by me that all of us are aware of the fact that we need to integrate and we need to correlate everything happening around us with our optional preparation. But is it asking me to become master of geography? No, it is not the case. And that is the reason we, in our attempt or approach of attaining perfection, and I repeat the term, attaining perfection in the content matter of the discipline, completely lose out on our attempts after attempt. Always remind yourself of the fact you are preparing for a competitive examination. And this examination, which is considered to be still the elitist and thus has to be most difficult examination, looks in for a defined, a customized strategy. I'm here to make you understand how you generate difference in mark. I have been started sharing the attempted answer sheets of the rank holders, the toppers, not just in the UPSC examination from our center, but also in the different PCS added to it to maintain the consistency and to make you realize and understand that writing answer writing skills may differ. Me writing the answer, you writing the answer may differ, but still you are at par with the requirement of the examination. So we'll also be regularly uploading the answer sheet of the students preparing for examination and best performance in what is referred as regular assessment test that we conduct at our center. It is going to give you the perspective and idea that how you can chart out what is best for you because you cannot repeat the success. Let me quote one example. Case studies are the best thing that can make your answer better than your competitor. So to prove my point, let me also include a case study. And this case study is that when you try to write an answer, you need to justify that what exactly will work for me may not work for other and vice versa. You have a topic in your syllabus of geography optional in both paper one and two, which talks about regional planning, regional geography. If I don't go to the details of subject matter and just make you understand a very important and very crucial point, are we not taking the reference of regional planning with both trickle down and bottom up approach. Why it is important for us to have trickle down? Because there is the requirement of a passage, the path shown, the direction guided. That is where we are. We are there to help you out. This is the right way you should go. This is the way you should work out to improve on your score or to make out maximum of your time in attaining your dream job. And what is bottom up? It is customized. You cannot repeat others' success. You have to chart out your own success story. You can inspire yourself from their success, but you cannot repeat their case. Because all of us have got a very different circumstance and we all need to work towards grooming up, you know, making out maximum of what I have as my strength and overruling what is my problem. So if I take the example of Yashar, 12th rank holder, from our center this year, very high score in geography, 306. And Mayank, 132 rank holder with, I'll say, near average score in geography of 256. 
I have uploaded their interactive videos on the YouTube. Do see if you have not seen it as yet. 306 and 256. Interesting point is that Yashar, in his last attempt, that was his second attempt, attained 250 marks. And in one year time, he has improved more than 50 marks. And that is credible. What is the point that makes the things different? Please try to understand it with some of the frames of the answer that I have been providing in the test series and the comprehensive synthesis training program, which I have just taken a sample to make my point, that this is the way the answer framing is done. And this is the way we do it for you, I do it for you, so that you can make sense with the fact that if I'm aware of the all important points of a given topic, I don't have anything that I cannot write in stipulated time and in the stipulated space. So without wasting much time, let me quickly open up the screen share and try to justify the point that I want to make, right? Getting on there. You can see that this is the answer frame that I can justify written in my handwriting because most of the case, I always tell you that I precisely work for you to make you understand what is the best, what can be called as technical approach towards answer writing. So just take some sample cases and then I'll be repeating the examples that I have justified and you will understand what I'm saying. A sample question from typical physical geography, geomorphology, eruptive history and volcano type. Just the sample snippet of the question because you attain the question, so I don't write the question. Now, every aspirant by default will start with the volcanoes are mountains of accumulation. They are second order relief feature we write it. And when we talk about the eruptive history and volcano type, what comes out as the making and breaking attempt is volcanic emission intensity. Once you have attempted volcanic emission intensity, which is zero to eight, based on which criteria, note it, this is called framing. You need to understand that I need to chart out all the important points that is required to be written. I have given examiner that VEI is having 0 to 8 scale, like for that matter, Richter scale for earthquake. Modified Mercalli scale has got 12 units of measurement. Here we are just taking a random comparison. So what is the scale all about? So this scale is taking into consideration volume of ejecta, height of eruptive column, height of eruptive plume head, style of past activity, and qualitative description, gentle, effusive, explosive, cataclysmic. Because we have encountered this question in our examination, which talked about um, uh, phreatomagmatic ejection. So you can talk about it. No, I'm, I'm done with two points written in front of me. Anytime I am encountering a question on volcanic activity or the volcanic intensity based category, am I not having a swift information that I need to take volcanic emission intensity, the scale, the basis of it. And once that is done, this will be written by everyone. So I put it as this is common thing. Every aspirant prepared with geomorphology will surely jump up here. What is the point that maximum of us will miss out? Will miss out this. And if we have missed out this, I think all of us will agree. My answer quality will not be up to the mark. Once you have taken VIE criteria, and then you take up the reference of Hawaiian, Strombolian, Vesuvian, which is also called Vulcanian, or Pelian, which is also called Pelinian. Are you not, not noting it? You are automatically done with the desired frame. And then eruptive pattern and form creates shield volcano, cinder volcano, composite volcano, add on the diagrams. You will ask why I have not added on the diagram because I'm telling you this is the sample cases of answer frames. What are the points that you are required to write? What are the points that should not be missed out when you are writing answer on certain questions? These answer frame is what you have to develop. We give you as your answer frame, descriptive model answer, every case. 
and i think i have made the point clear and again repeating so if i now try to judge the point of difference that we are continuously saying that for air 12 306 marks will be relating to these hidden points and diagrams because that makes a lot of difference always remember i need to be understanding i have to have a complete understanding of the topic then only i can write agreed you have to understand to write but never assume that because you have understood certain thing you are automatically capable of writing it doesn't go that way it doesn't go that i scroll further location and weather of tornado thunderstorms a typical question from climatology see the answer frame the turbulent weather mechanism at regional and micro scale you have to understand the scale with which we identify the weather mechanism and this comes very handy when you try to apply our approach of covering climatology and i can certainly claim it is not covered the, this way in any other center then you get on to tornado tornado's characteristics precisely everyone will be writing and when i take this and i put on a star mark to it this is not commonly written this is commonly ignored types of tornadoes is supercell non supercell tornadoes can be supercell it is a single cellular non supercell dual cell and diagram that we can add of course is this is my mesocyclone i can easily apply this mesocyclonic circulation i can add muru's cloud here i can add virga and i can certainly keep adding tornado right here and this is my cell volutus if you try to develop this way now tornado it is the violent most system all of us will write it is part and parcel of a cumulonimbus cloud that correlates to a thundering cloud or thunderstorms but every thunderstorm is not related to tornado after writing the mechanism of tornado is it not required i think i am making the point convincing that you need to talk about types of tornado rather when i talk about type a variant can also be written which is called water spout and then i have gone to thunderstorm and in thunderstorm also we are taking this i think this will be a common thing for all of us to write rain showers with thunder and lightning if it is a 20 marker question do explain the mechanism of thunder and lightning again very important and interesting thing that you can apply rather of lately lightning have evolved out as a very challenging natural hazard so you can think about that uh, it is also called lightning storm some are dry thunder storm that causes no rain because virga is what comes dominating to that type this is what i'm saying is important this is what is going to make and break your answer how many of us actually think about types of thunder storm what comes in our mind essentially is there are stages of development of thunderstorm every standard textbook gives about that so once i add that this is called dimension building and when you are creating that dimension automatically you are creating a better answer so i have already talk, talked about that with tornado so single storm multi cell multi cell line storm this is different from the cluster storm and super cell that is related to tornado and when i talk about this single cell multi cell cluster and multi cell storm you can easily identify we relate them to equatorial climate we relate them to tropical cyclone we also relate them to pole line some orographic upliftment can also generate on thundering clouds where we do take the reference of cloud burst and then the flash floods that are created so you can add on the diagram there i hope i am making sense one sample case we have taken for geomorphology and second sample case we have taken for climatology if i have to prove the point further the points that makes up the difference what is the approach with which you frame your answer i have got many examples there i can continue to scroll with this particular case applicable question multiple effects of climate change climate change so answer has to begin with the climate change is caused by natural and anthropogenic factors natural causes in geological time effect it is a long time perspective and anthropogenic is more relevant and extreme 
and we take it up with ipcc united nations framework convention on climate change so i have given myself three important points of introduction now once i have given in my answer framing that there can be two causes of climate change with more extreme and more relevant being anthropogenic automatically my answer will be focused towards the anthropogenic causes of climate change and if you take that i think this venn diagram is excellently explaining the effects of climate change involves temperature precipitation sea level changes as the principal category precisely all of us will write about it but they tend to generate multiple influence on forest on food security on coastal area on water resources on biodiversity and on health because when i talk about food insecurity it has to have the reference on health food insecurity is the principal reason why we will generate capacity resilience of our body and it will result into the different types of ailments can you notice that once you have created out this venn diagram as your answer frame you are not going to miss out on any of the important point in your answer writing that is what is required students this is the difference between high mark fetching answer and low mark fetching answer who doesn't know about effects of climate change but have you covered all the dimension that is what makes it so i can have many other examples that i can cite out or i can uh, add into reference like this is a very conventional type of a question before i take you to some human geography part determiners of gross pattern of temperature and seasonal pattern of isotherm amount of heat present in atmosphere is air temperature all of us will write determiners of temperature it is latitude oceanic current cloud cover land water contrast altitude prevailing winds have i missed out on any point i have not once i am getting on to the final revision this frame is going to help me out excellently this is how it is. temperature distribution and at shoreline defined by season and relief transition precisely all of us take into consideration that relief transition and what makes and breaks our answer is winter and summer isotherms once i have given that i will be justifying the prevailing anomaly and my answer becomes super quality i hope you are understanding framing of answer goes like this and you are provided with such frame for every answer followed on by the details of these points with the diagrams that are there so it is basically a ready made notes that you are getting which you can certainly add on to your perspective and understanding to further improve on your answer writing that is how it goes like right i want to go to some question a very interesting question i asked in the test chronology of geography and chronological geography time geography was the question that was asked in upsc examination and many of us claim that it is out of syllabus i very clearly say nothing comes out of syllabus it's only the perspective with which you learn chronology geography is essentially a chronological discipline but it is not devoid of chronology and this question is basically asking us to take the understanding of chronological geography that is the history of development of geography so you can see that in my answer frame we are talking about ancient contributor pre modern contributor modern contributor and recent contribution is it any point that you are not aware of you are aware of it but then putting it into this frame of course is the challenging thing you have encountered the question in examination hall and you are not swiftly making out the sense with it the question goes out of your hand and then comes the second part which talks about chronological geography i am purposefully sharing these answer frames in front of you to understand how our approach of answer writing model answer preparation is very different and it is very fruitful to the point you know what is called hitting the bulls eye it is not beating around the bush it is not repeating take go chi liang and draw down the diagram that you have then why will you come to us why you we you required to take the support that we are providing you need to understand the point of the difference that is there right okay chronological geography it is part of time geography ecological social and economic interactions are the three aspects to it and hager strand innovation diffusion talking about relocation and expansion diffusion 
expansion diffusion giving me hierarchical contagious and stimulus diffusion come on my answer has become full proof i think all of you are convinced with it. how examiner will deduct out the marks and when i talk about innovation and diffusion i think this diagram all of us are aware of how we talk about the innovators and laggards that have been given to us by hagerstein this automatically comes out as my selection of the diagram so this this uh, snippet of information of the framing that i'm telling you is what you take as what is given to you as introduction you know this is how you write after this one page of the frame you have got the detailed answer which gives you the diagrams and every other thing that you need to apply let me take few more questions to prove my challenges faced by reproductive industry to so, sabse pehla question to yahi dimag mein aa jata hai ki reproductive industry kya average students do not take into consideration the required terms in job aapko kyun advise karte hain rank holders ki aap ek dictionary padho ek dictionary pick up karo agreed humne shuru mein bhi kaha you don't require to be master of this discipline लेकिन कहीं कहीं कई बार ऐसे टर्म्स आते हैं अगर आपको उस टर्म के बारे में पता ही नहीं तो फिर आप लिखोगे क्या तो यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट आई हैव टू बी एट पार वे डिसाइफरिंग द टर्म दैट इज कम तो आप इकोनॉमिक्स तो नहीं पढ़ रहे इकोनॉमिक जोग्राफी पढ़ रहे हो तो यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इन प्लेस ऑफ प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्सरी एंड क्वार्टरनरी एक्टिविटीज वी जोग्राफर्स टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्टिव एक्सट्रैक्टिव फेसिलिटेटिव एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री आई राइट एक्सट्रैक्टिव है ह्यूमन इकोलॉजिकल अडेप्टेशन इज देयर इन आर सिलेबस दीज टर्म्स आर रेलेवेंट हाउ आई कैन बी इग्नोरेंट ऑफ इट रिप्रोडक्टिव इंडस्ट्री स्टैंड फॉर एग्रीकल्चर दिस इज माइनिंग लंबरिंग फिशिंग दिस इज वेर यू टॉक अबाउट वैल्यू एडिशन एनीथिंग दैट इज गोइंग ऑन विद वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन कॉटन कॉटन टेक्सटाइल आयरन और आयरन स्टील एक्सेट्रा facilitative is trade transport coming what are the challenges faced by reproductive industry challenges are at productive side and at the production side and at supply side one gain increasing food demand competition from bio food field biofuel plateau yield plateau largely because of unsustainable agricultural practices soil exhaustion change of climate declining output pest related issues think about it i think you are readily appreciating i always was aware of it but i never thought that this is the way i can frame up and make this is where i stand very strongly in a focused support to you supply segment limited land and water mineral input variation rural labor climate change pre post harvest loss and mind it you are writing it from the perspective of global you can certainly put on the examples with it such questions are never completed without a favorable positive outcome so a sustainable rebuilding ecological resources restoring soil fertility reducing quality quantity loss of soil improving water management and diet. i don't think that this answer has anything that you are not aware agree i don't have any uh, hesitation in acknowledging it you are also agreeing to it but i hope all of you will agree we never readily recall when we are in the haste of writing this is the benefit of it and this support you get i have many questions major doctrine departure of humanism by default begin your answer on what humanism is focus on real people feeling perception ideas about place and space it started and see in the introduction i have written as a critical revolution it actually started as a critical philosophy but it definitely was meant to grow beyond being a critical philosophy it was no longer a critical philosophy to begin with it was and then when it talked about real people real perception then you automatically take the departures that are there and departures is what precisely all of us are aware interesting thing is that you should talk about phenomenology first followed on by existentialism and then idealism because idealism is significant i have written that epistemological and metaphysical when i take the reference of epistemo epistemological you justify it to be somewhere related to you no know, a uh, practical edge identified with the perception because geographers do believe in perceptional study but idealism 
is more about studying the mental world and this is where we don't take that to be as significant as a phenomenology of he fu tuan or existentialism of semules so you have to just balance it out otherwise we do agree metaphysical argument of idealism do comes in compatibility to phenomenology and existentialism is considered to be an extension of phenomenology so i think it is justified phenomenology should come first you take the reference of phenomenology ifu tuans topo hila identifying the five themes i think that makes the answer perfectly well this is how i provide you with it methods principles of delimiting maritime zone start with laws of seas convention 1982 which amended 74 75 fourth goal to achieve delimitation involves multilateral bilateral negotiation as each case is unique i cannot apply common rule to all of them and then comes what are the principles and methods you create out the snippet of information equidistant proportionality non geographical single maritime boundary equitable principles i have given some of the important points that can easily be enlarged and automatically it is giving you the excellent frame of the answer any dimension you are not missed out with. and once you are not missed out with dimension why examiner will eventually cut your marks there is no reason and mind it when i ask you to take we have taken some sample cases of human and physical geography and with some sample cases of human and physical geography what i am trying all of us to understand optional every answer of course to the questions asked in csc in last 20 25 years and if this is done no one can stop you from scoring better to conclude this video i just want all of us to understand that the things are difficult yes it is but do all of us understand that difficulty is also something which is very relative term i cannot make a standard definition of difficulty so in the preparation mode what are the general set rules we have been talking about it we have been following it comes very handy you have to basically think about you have to basically justify ab aap ja rahe ho ek war field mein you are a warrior all the students who are sitting in for competitive examination i call them warrior so my students are warrior agar aap warrior ki tarah se battle field pe jaoge so can you be random ki jab samne wala mere upar kisi bhi tarah ka attack karega then i'll decide ki mujhe kya strategy apnani hai aisa ho sakta hai khud socho jab aap battle field mein ja rahe ho competitive field mein ja rahe ho human question to survive survival survival of phenomenology or existentialism of humanism is not about me surviving the difficult natural conditions it is me surviving the difficult anthropogenic environment do i don't require a well charted strategy for it i think it makes sense ad hoc preparation nahi ho sakta is examination ke liye pehle prelims clear kar lete hain fir sochenge main ke bare mein aisa nahi hota aisa aapke samne bahut cases honge जो आप पांचों अटेम्प्ट से प्रीलिम्स में ही अटके हुए रह गए प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन इज रिक्वायरिंग मच मोर कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव नॉलेज दोनों ही लेवल पर टेस्ट प्रैक्टिस हेल्प करता है आई कैन नॉट गो एड हॉक लेट मी डू दिस लेवल फर्स्ट देन आई थिंक अबाउट द सेकंड लेवल एंड लेट मी क्लियर द सेकंड लेवल देन आई थिंक अबाउट द थर्ड लेवल डजन गो लाइक दैट इट डजन गो लाइक दैट एंड इफ यू आर अप्रोचिंग इट लाइक दिस राइट नाउ सिट सिट बैक फॉर एन आर टू अ डे जो भी आपके लिए रिक्वायरमेंट है सोचो आप कितना डेडिकेटेड हो इस करियर ऑप्शन के लिए और अपना एक स्ट्रैटेजी चार्ट आउट करो इट इज रिक्वायर्ड जब तक आपको नहीं पता आपने क्या करना है कोई हेल्प नहीं कर सकता सिर्फ वन कोचिंग सेंटर से दूसरे कोचिंग सेंटर में भागो एक नोट से दूसरे नोट्स पे भागो एक बुक से दूसरे बुक पे भागो दैट डजेंट हेल्प दैट डजेंट हेल्प चार्ट आउट योर स्ट्रैटेजी यू आर वोर यर you are warrior because you are in a grim competitive environment and as a warrior the bottom line to attain success uncertainty is there agreed but bottom line to success is i have got my 
customized. I have been overemphasizing on this term in this video. I have to have a customized strategy. Customized because my requirements, my weakness, my strength differs from my competitor. I need to acknowledge this is my weak point. This is my strength. I have to enhance my strength. I have to overcome my weakness. That is how I'll be standing in front of my competitor and I'll be succeeding with the flying color. So chat out your strategy there and any help. I'm just on your request right there to help you. This is it from my side. Happy learning to all of you. Bye-bye. Take care.